All right, so it looks like we're heading from the cold rainy season into the slightly less cold but equally as rainy season here in the Pacific Northwest. That means it's time to change up my EDC to something just a little bit more appropriate for this warmer weather. Like most of us, my EDC needs change with the seasons. During the colder months, I'm layered up. During the warmer months, I'm trying to wear as little as humanly possible. I gotta stay cool. So today I just wanna talk about my spring slash summer EDC setup for 2023. So the first thing that's new for this EDC season is the core watch band for the Apple Watch. I just got this a couple of weeks ago and I'm really excited about it. I wear my Apple Watch every day, no matter what I'm doing. It doesn't matter if I'm at work or I'm at home. Uh, it doesn't matter if I'm out mowing the lawn or out hiking, I've always got it on. One of the things that's been bugging me quite a bit for the last couple of years is that a lot of times I find myself in a position where the adjustment on whatever watch band I'm using isn't quite right. I need a slight adjustment. But instead, my watch band is always just a little too tight or just a little too loose. And it seems kind of like silly and petty, but it makes a huge difference having my watch actually fit my wrist the way that I want it to fit rather than, you know, being a little too tight or a little too loose. This watch band from Core, it gives me the same type of uh, ratcheting uh, micro adjustments uh, that their EDC belt has. And... I can dial it in for that absolute perfect fit that I need. I really wish I had known about this thing a lot sooner. Another really important electronic that I never leave the house without, wireless headphones. These of course are AirPods, but bring whatever kind you like. Somewhere here in my office I have a pair of Raycons. I really like those. Um, the sound quality is great. The reason that I tend to bring the AirPods is that they, they fit my ear just a little bit better. Why are wireless headphones such an important part of EDC for me? Well, that's easy. First off, people that talk on speakerphone out in public, they're the worst. The real reason though that I carry wireless headphones is to keep both of my hands free throughout the course of the day. If there's some sort of situation that dictates that I need to make a phone call, chances are I'm going to need to have both hands to be able to do things, whether that's driving, or you know whatever tasks throughout the day at work or at home it's nice to be able to continue to do things with your hands uh, while making a phone call this is especially important in some sort of emergency situation if i find myself in a situation where i need to call emergency services i don't want to be tied down this way or with my doing the old shoulder uh, up to the ear thing that doesn't work. It's best to have a pair of wireless headphones so that you can do whatever it is that needs to be done. If by some chance you need to be on the phone with 911 and administer medical attention to somebody, you need headphones. Always carry them in your pocket. Next thing that I absolutely don't leave the house without is this little gem, Milwaukee Fastback Box Cutter. You probably thought I was going to bust out some, I don't know, $300 Gucci pocket knife, didn't you? No, you can tell by the looks of this thing that it's well used. I use it a lot. Probably a half dozen times a day, I pull this box cutter out and I use it to cut something open. Uh, when the blade gets dull, it's no problem. I have a little uh, extra blade caddy built in here. I can get rid of the uh, dull blade, put a fresh one in, and I am back in business. This box cutter, it's a work knife, you know, it's looked at as a, you know, a, a tool. It's not really viewed as a weapon. And I'm totally discreet having this clipped into my pocket versus um, a standard pocket knife. Especially the type that a lot of my fellow YouTubers are talking about carrying in their EDC. You know, this box cutter, it's a tool. I use it regularly, that's why it gets beat up. If something happens and I break it, or I happen to set it down and not pick it back up, or I lose it, or it gets stolen, or whatever, it's no big deal. I can jump on Amazon, I can order a two pack of these with like a 50 pack of blades for somewhere in the neighborhood of $35. Never underestimate the capabilities of a box cutter. Another one that people always expect is some sort of handheld pocket flashlight. Nope. I don't want to get bogged down with a ton of redundant shit. I mean, I already have a flashlight built into my cell phone. Sure, it's not super bright, but it's good enough to give me a little bit of light in situations where I need it. If I need a larger, more powerful 
handheld flashlight. I always keep one of those in the car. Not only that, but a lot of times I do use a weapon mounted light on my handgun. We'll go ahead and talk about weapon mounted lights a little bit later when we talk about holsters. But another thing that I carry when while we're talking about lights is this little guy right here. And this is just a little mini um, keychain light from Olight. I like it because it is cheap. Um, it's small, it's inconspicuous, it goes right here on my keychain. If I need it, I can just push to turn it on, or I can turn it to turn it on, turn it a little bit more for full power, turn it back off. This little light may not be the brightest, but you can use it in times when you need just a little bit of light. The thing that I really like about this flashlight is that if we unscrew it all the way, it pops open and reveals a USB-C plug so that you can recharge it. Now, I haven't had this light die on me yet, but what I do is every, I don't know, three weeks to a month or so, I'll plug it in, let it sit for about an hour, call it good. I'll go ahead and leave a link for this little guy down below, as well as a few other things like the Core watch band and this right here. This is the Core EDC belt. This thing is incredible. I just did a full review on it over on my main channel, 360 Tactical Solutions. I can't say enough good stuff about this belt. I really can't. Out of all the belts that I have either bought or been sent while doing all this YouTube stuff, um, this core belt, this is the most comfortable out of all of them. I think part of the reason that it is so comfortable is that you have these little micro adjustments where it clicks. Instead of going, you know, standard belts, you have one hole uh, adjustments, which are usually like, I don't know, half inch or whatever. Um, these are much closer together. That means I can get that little bit of adjustment that I really need. If I had a heavy lunch or whatever, and I just need to let it out just a little bit, I can let it out one click. If I'm going throughout the course of the day and, you know, my pants feel a little looser than I'd like, I can push it in one click. These core belts, they're sturdy. Sturdy enough to carry whatever holster in whatever configuration it is that you like. Everything from little micro compacts all the way up to, I don't know, full-size steel frame 1911s. Whatever gun that you leave the house with, this belt is going to carry it and your pants just fine. For me, my core belt has been holding up this bad boy right here. This is the Springfield Armory Hellcat Pro, but not just any Hellcat Pro. This one has been ported by Floyd's Custom Shop. I will have the full review of that port job over on my main channel right about the same time that this video drops here on this channel. Of course, this Hellcat Pro also has all the Apex goodies. I have the mag release. I have the extended uh, takedown lever and the trigger. I also have the extended slide release by Lakeline LLC. Also, internally, I am using the uh, DPM recoil reduction system. I cannot say enough good stuff about those springs. Changing over to the DPM guide rod and spring set, it really does reduce quite a bit of recoil in this gun. If you want to know more about the DPM springs, you can check out the video over on my main channel. Basically, I'm just going to say DPM spring sets kick ass. Up on top of the Hellcat Pro, I have the Holosun 407K mounted using the C and H uh, weapons mounting plate system. I like the 407K. It's actually my favorite red dot that's out right now. A lot of other red dots use a two MOA dot. Um, the 407K uses a six MOA dot. My eyes aren't the greatest and I do really struggle with trying to pick up the two MOA dot. I know a lot of people will argue that um, the 2MOA dot, because it is smaller, you can get a much better level of accuracy than you can with a larger, say, 6MOA dot. I don't think it really matters. I think what matters is that you personally can see that dot quickly. Even more important is that you train with that dot regularly uh, so that you know what your acceptable level of accuracy is going to be with it. Next on my list is holsters, and here I have the McKinetech Talon holster for the Hellcat Pro. This guy right here is wrapped in the black multicam fabric. 
Mechanitech is one of my favorite holster manufacturers out there. They don't ding you for all the extras like putting a black multicam fabric over the top of the holster. They also don't charge you more if it's going to be a light bearing holster, which most holster companies do. The Mechanitech Talon holster, it looks good. It's comfortable. The retention is good. It conceals well. What else can I say? Now, you probably noticed that I don't have a weapon mounted light on the Hellcat Pro right now. Honestly, being a YouTuber is weird. You know, I buy these guns and I test them out and I carry them on and off and I rotate back and forth and I'm always changing which gun it is that I'm carrying. Not only am I changing which gun it is that I'm carrying, but I'm also changing which holster it is that I'm carrying. I'm changing which light it is that I'm, like it's, it's a constantly changing thing. This gun right here, for instance, I have five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven holsters for the Hellcat Pro. Some of those I purchased myself. Some of those were sent to me by different holster companies. I just, I have a ton of holsters. Not only am I testing the Hellcat Pro, but I'm also testing uh, four different uh, weapon mounted lights for this gun at the same time. Obviously, I'm not going to buy four different light bearing holsters for it. I'm just going to keep testing till I decide which light it is that's going to stay on it permanently, if that makes sense. A lot of times in the evenings when it's a situation where I'm probably going to need a weapon mounted light if I need my gun, um, I'll revert back to using my MMP 2.0. I've got a TLR1 on that and that's usually what I carry in the afternoons if I leave the house. You could say that this is more my breakfast gun, if you will. That being said, I have picked a light for the Hellcat Pro. Um, I am ordering a holster for it to accommodate a light, and it is almost to its final configuration. I'll be doing a, I don't know, grand finale, so to speak, uh, video with that gun very soon. The point I was trying to make though, I'm not going to carry a larger handheld flashlight in my pocket and have the flashlight on my phone and I have a flashlight on my keychain and I keep a large handheld flashlight in my car um, while at the same time I also have a flashlight on my weapon like it's really redundant you know some people do it and if that works for them that's fine but to me I don't I don't need all that so the next big thing that changes for me when the weather changes is this right here this is the Filster Enigma Express, and this one is for the Hellcat Pro. Of course, this is not a light-bearing model, so I can't use a weapon-mounted light with it, um, but these holsters are pretty damn cool. During the summer months, this holster is an absolute must. If I'm wearing something like basketball shorts or you know swim shorts or something that's light where I can't actually use a belt, this holster fills in that space quite nicely. With the Enigma, it's basically a holster that is attached to a platform that has a belt system built into it. So this actually attaches to your body instead of using a holster that's attached to a belt, if that makes sense. There are all sort of situations where that's gonna come in handy. Because that holster system mounts to your body instead of your pants, it moves with you a lot more naturally than a standard holster does. I definitely wouldn't recommend it as a replacement for all of your other holster needs. The Enigma system, it isn't for everybody in every situation, that's for sure. Let's say you don't like wearing a belt or you really wanna go deep concealment with your firearm. If you wanna be able to wear, I don't know, sports type clothing, ladies, if you wanna be able to wear uh, dresses, skirts, yoga pants, and still carry your firearm comfortably, and securely, the Enigma system may just be the solution for you. So during that warm weather, I'm gonna be cycling back and forth between this Enigma belt, uh, the Core EDC belt, and the Mechanitech Talon. All the while, I'm gonna be using that Springfield Hellcat Pro. Really, it's gonna be situational dependent. What's the weather like? What am I doing? Where am I going? That's basically it, you guys. You know, I feel like we put a really heavy focus on carrying some really weird shit. And usually it's because, you know, our favorite influencer or whatever mentions this product like, oh, this is my new favorite thing. I carry it all the time. You 
and then we rush out and we buy it and then we carry it and it may not suit our needs our lifestyle or the things that we do this milwaukee box cutter this is a prime example this works really well for my needs but it may not work for yours okay so here's my question what's that weird one thing that you carry that you just think to yourself nobody else in the world carries this but i have to have it when i leave the house what's that one thing that other people may not think about carrying uh, that you carry that you want to let the world know about leave a comment down below and let me know I'd love to know what little oddities you guys carry on your daily. Okay, you guys that's it for today I really appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back here real soon